Very fine. You combine that great with some nice penetration too, and you've got two points. And it's Durant missing. It's been a quick start here for Chicago. Four point game. Outside Jordan. And Chicago is scoring again. Great start for him. Four four. He could be in for a big game. Okay, well, let's go down and hold on. Jordan Ford from the sideline. Well, I talked to head coach Steve Kerr. Curry's looking to even the season series for the win tonight. He told me he knows his team can play better than they did the last time. He thinks with the strong defense and shot blocking, they can make things difficult at the end of the floor. We'll see if they can impose their will tonight, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, David. And guys, do you agree that they have to put the emphasis on their defense here early on? I do. And I think it's a great idea to play to your strengths. And the defense is a strong suit for this group. Well, it's something that they have considered their signature. The defense on the floor is something they bring every single game. Jordan on the reverse. I'll tell you, Kev, they love seeing that Monte Ella sharing the basketball, keeping his eyes open. Green drives the double. McGee is screen. Shot clock at six. McGee is screen on Grant. Here's Green. Clark Wright using his tremendous length to grab the ball. Here's Pippen. It's rebounded by Golden State. Their last game a win against the Lakers. We're going to carry it into this one. Yeah, and fortunately for them, I, I thought the opponent's defense just never showed up. Uh, you have to question their effort, Greg. They did a great job of penetrating and kicking out. The defense simply wasn't up to the task. Green, no luck. Chicago leading. Jordan with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Got that one up quick. And 12 points for Michael Jordan. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he was just as dominant. Well, there's no doubt this guy's on the hot streak right now. That's why he keeps getting the ball in this one. They're like, hey, we're going to feed the hot hand. And that line came from a mile away, and it was right on the line. Talk about a long distance connection. Good D by Johnson. The only way he doesn't finish is if the defense gets in his face. Nice job. Now, great look on that. Just a little out of rhythm. Yeah, he looked like he forced that a little bit. Just needs to take his time. Better make these shots right now. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Durant. Curry's got his second basket of the night. How about the incredible four players from Kevin Durant? Such a sense for when one of his teammates has a clean look. Barry's the long-range jumper. Oh, a good open look, and he sprays it home. Oh, Good video screen on us. Oh, is that is open. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's Jordan. Good D by Johnson. That's a surprise. I mean, you're really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Curry with another miss. The ball is leading by three. Pippen loses to Grant. Stolen by McGee. Here's Green. Green slams it in. Well, you love to watch Draymond Green on the defensive end. His activity seems to create opportunities for his teammates. My goodness, get right in his grill and force him to alter the shot. That's tough defense in the post. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside position. And there's Green outside. Yes, and it's Ellis picking up the assist. Jordan's got 15 points. With a player this high, I don't see their lead going anywhere. Pass to McGee, over Cartwright. Again, Golden State. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Johnson against Jordan. Chicago games possession. 
and that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. It's nine seconds separate in the shot clock. Eight. Here's Pippen, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's on Kevin Durant. Chicago shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Free throw good for Pippen. So he gets them both. Warriors trail by four. Thompson with it. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. They set the pick. Six to shoot. Pick loose. From deep green, here's McGee. beginning in just a moment. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? I mean, so far, they're... they're... <laughs> Warriors trail by four. In a moment, I'll reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Taking a look at the Bulls, John Jackson is out there with Michael Jordan, then it's Pippen, then it's King, and it's Williams at the four-man position. Well, one thing I think that goes overlooked about Steph Curry is his finishing ability on the interior. He's had seasons, Kev, where the high percentage from close range is something you only expect from a big man. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. The feed now to Durant. Here's McGee. And that's out of bounds. Golden State Warriors in possession. But he's checked in for JaVale McGee. And the Warriors with position here, trailing by four. Just five on the clock. A wide open look for Durant. And a miss there on the triple. Here's Jordan. Here's King. Goes back up. That one doesn't drop. Great tee that time from Durant. Well, second chance points can come from extreme effort on the offensive glass. Case in point there. Into the Julia. Golden State moving the ball around. And Thompson kicks to Green. Over Williams. That one off the back iron and out. The ball is leading by six. Passes it to Patchy. Back to King. He feeds it to Williams. And Pippen with the basket. The assist by Williams. Pippen's got 11. They're getting on a roll inside, and their last three field goals have come from the bank. They get a hand on it. Maxson gets to Jordan. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Thompson outside. Trains it from beyond the arc. Well, score distributor, it does not matter. Steph Curry is a monster. What a pass there. Well, outstanding contest on the shot, and then he's positioned perfectly to go after the rebound. Durant for three. Not that time. It's off. He's three for seven. Bitch. Here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. Oh, taking it to the rack of power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Curry on the wing. Over Paxson. And it's King with the rebound. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Here's Jordan. Bank shot. No good. Well, he's trying to shoot his way out of the slump, but it's not helping his team. That was an awful quarter. And it's Brown in for John Paxson. And the Warriors also making a change. Andre Iguodala. He's checked in for Green. Well, Pachulia does such a great job taking quality shots. Never forces anything. Let's see offense come to him. Williams passes to Pippen. That's him. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Here's Curry. He has Thompson for three. 
Well, the long-range game is just superb. Clay Thompson has built his career on his ability to shoot with range. Here's Ellis, uses the glass to finish the way. Ellis has got his first bucket in this one. Exactly the shot they were looking for on that possession. The easy one down low. Here's Pippen. And he slams it down right on top of Kevin Durant. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Oh, that's right. That is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. Maybe even a question mark. That's him coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. Marvelous starts the second half. Three for three. Unloads. Pippen misses. Well, yeah, I mean, you want to give your offense a chance, and that possession didn't do it. Not, not at all, Greg. I mean, no reason for him to be taking these kinds of shots. He has only himself to blame. Oh, and here we go. Greg's got it the best break chance. Curry gets the bucket. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Here's Ellis. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And Golden State gets called for the foul. Well, what makes Monte Ellis so valuable is he's capable of playing both the one and two guard spots, and there's still a ton of confidence in his game. And that one falls for Monte Ellis. He's off on the second. Warriors trail by five. Thompson kicks to Curry. Here's McGee. Now on the play, basket count, so it'll be a three-point play chance. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. John Paxton, he's taking for Chicago. I was like, all this trash out there, but then I remembered it was pitch black. It was. In the hallway. And, yeah. I had made the mistake of opening that door. I was scared. Wow. You couldn't even see out the hallway. It looked like something out of that movie. When? Yesterday when the lights was out. So Sharika said her light didn't come on until 8 o'clock this morning. That's crazy. Green's got three assists tonight. And since halftime, they have been locked and loaded. Yeah, there's no question about it. Knocking down triples repeatedly. The defense starting to look helpless at this point. No good from Jordan. Nice doubting for Chicago. They won that game against the Utah Jazz. And Green gets it to go. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Jordan, the pass to Ellis. Over Thompson, and the shot is long. The Warriors lead. Some fire coming from this offense tonight. Yeah, they got a nice groove going right now, offense. Well, he does a lot of his work on the interior, more than people realize. Clay Thompson gets those calls because he's willing to put himself in tough spots. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. The Kings checked in for Cartwright, but Prey has come in for Horace Grant. Scotty Pippen's checked in for Ellis, and it's Brown in for Batson. But Julia, he's checked in for Golden State. You hope that's a wake-up call for the defense, boys, because if you give them that clean look and it's over. Durant for three. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. The ball has been fantastic. It is a big part of why these good looks. That's as good a look as he's going to get beyond the arc, but there are no short things from that range, even for him. The shot by Thompson, no good. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage. Here's Jordan. He can't connect from 13 feet up. Well, despite his struggles from the field in this period, you know he's going to keep asking for the basketball. Pippen kicks to McCray. Back to Pippen. And Pippen slams it in. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. And the shot goes in. And the Warriors lead by three. And the Julia just rolling away inside. The Anderson and shoot it close to the rim. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And it goes on Tremont.
Sean Green. Bulls have hit most of their free throws tonight, five of six. That free throw good from Pippen. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. There's 154 left in the third quarter. To the paint. It's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. Well, that's an example of two teammates on a different page. They're both looking at each other like, hey, what, what was going on there? Pippen against the Rams. Jacks up a three. Kept alive. It's good on the footback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. King's gotten two of his three shots to go On its way for Curry for two. I see. He just ran straight there, too. <laughs> hey, um... Sitting there and people were sending me emails about why am I a challenger? I I don't respond. I mean, I, I gotta get a fake. And then that firm had an earth to we supposed to do the mediation on Friday. They sent me all kind of emails talking about oh, we're willing to settle with you for half the amount for two hundred dollars a month. <laughs> Exactly. So I sent it to Melvin, my attorney. He said, man, don't worry about that crap. We'll talk about it. And we'll, I'll be there. We'll do the mediation. You said we'll tell them to drop it because they don't have anything. They're just reaching for straws right now. They don't have any proof. They ain't deposed nobody. They're reaching for straws right they now. They haven't produced any discovery showing you did it. How you go from damn near forty seven thousand dollars to okay we'll settle for half and you can only pay two hundred dollars. They haven't produced any witnesses who saw you do it, any witnesses who heard you do it. Or any witnesses that have any knowledge at all. They haven't named any names. Oh, the damn, um, Drew, who used to be the branch manager, he's not even with the company. Was he the one who said you stole? He was the branch manager. But did he tell you to your face he knew you did it? Hell no. Nah. Like Drew, Drew, Drew wasn't even, he didn't even know what the hell he was So doing. they don't know. My thing is, a lot of this is conjecture. I'm not about to settle with you based on conjecture. If you haven't shown through discovery, not one piece of evidence, not one deposition, you haven't deposed me, got me on the record that I did anything. You ain't got nobody on the record that anybody did anything. Trust me, they don't. You probably can't even find anybody who have who claim they saw it because yes, all them people done quit or moved on, and the ones who still work there ain't about to get up on no stand for y'all asses and admit to nothing because they asses did that, something too. Everybody who was in the cash vault not even there no more. Thank you. All the people gone. It's all new people. And if at any time Wells Fargo thought that you were stealing, you wouldn't have got no job and, uh, uh, where you at now. Are these people crazy? Do they know if I had to ask you if you're being in a lawsuit or whatever, somebody has sued you for anything and you yeah. say, yeah, they'll be like, okay, well, explain it. They want to know why. Like, man, you crazy as shit. I saw that shit. I just started laughing. Giving them, I'm not settling with y'all because I didn't do anything. And I'm not. And even if I did, and I ain't even going to say I did or didn't do it. I'm not settling with y'all because y'all haven't proved through any discovery, through any suit. anything that I did anything. So counter, good luck. I need a counter suit up for defamation my character. Who you about to call to testify that they saw me do it? I need you to name names so we can get them on the record. We can get them in a deposition. Exactly. And, I saw him and, steal. and good luck with having somebody to come. These people crazy as shit. Force them to the and explain to me that I circumvented your policies and procedures and do it. And it's Grant and for Williams. And the Warriors also making a change. Oh, man, if that was the case, you would have been a long time ago. Yeah, they're dragging it from attorney office to attorney office. Because they know you ain't do nothing. I'm not giving y'all nothing. Not a goddamn dime. I'm going to tell them on Friday, you need to leave me alone. 
Well, I'll sue you for damn defamation of character. You're know, being fucking harassing me. Why would I settle? We ain't engaged in no discovery that shows me that you believe you got any proof I did anything. Exactly. I fucking lift my gift and shit when you ain't proved it. The nerves, boy, the nerves. You are insane. Keeps it doing it out. Got a piece of it. Yeah, it's not a fire. Paul went up everywhere. He had played mistake free basketball until that one. His first turnover of the night. Here's Jordan. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his fourth rebound in this half, and he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. And they came out of the locker room after halftime. I'm trying to trade up. I'm not giving you anything. I'm not selling you anything. I've seen nothing throughout the course of this case that indicates to me that you guys have any tangible or even abstract proof that anything happened involving me. I thought it ran to the judge and the judge was like, they like, yo, are wasting time. Just, you just missed the case. Just missed the fucking case. They haven't proven anything. Have you answered any discovery? Hell yeah. Have they? They sent me the discovery. Has Melvin sent them any? Yeah, we sent we we did went to his house on Sunday. He had four pages. What names did they name? Nothing. They ain't nothing. They just asked me a bunch of questions. Do you have this? Do you have a, a, a internet proof? Do you have this? Do you have that? We need internet proof. Uh, if I post anything on social media. Of what? <laughs> <laughs> Did I post any pictures or anything or any money that I deposit? What the fuck does that? Like, I'm a grown man. <laughs> text messages that. I Talk to anybody on text messages saying that I got the money and all that. Uh, if I do, if I did, I should provide it. And if I did do, why would I give that to you? <laughs> I had any, any social media. I said, you know how many of my damn social media uh, uh, accounts I got and deleted and took it? Even if I did say something on there or whatever, well, how you going to get it back? How you going to get it? Because they done deactivated yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. This is the funniest shit I, I'm telling you. And secondly, I'm confused. Because if you did do that, why would you say you did it? And, and, and this shit is wild. I mean, I'm pretty sure you wasn't. I mean, you ain't said that to nobody. You ain't told nobody. Maybe if I did so, I'd tell somebody. It'd be how many years? And how will you prove that I told anybody? How will you prove that I told anybody? You can't prove it. I ain't text nothing. I ain't put nothing in nothing. Like. How are you trying to uh, do a discovery and then you ask me stuff to, to prove your discovery? Jesus Christ. Really? Yeah, I'm going to just drop all the money in my bank account. That's traceable. The only way, and the only way I can see them claiming they got something on you is that they trace the serial number. But can they do that? Nah, I'll trace the serial number where? Is that... It didn't come. <laughs> what? What trace was serial number where? If that was hidden, it would have been traced it. I mean, tracing the where though? Where all you would have spent it? Exactly. A restaurant. <laughs> trace what? You trace the numbers with? This not like it's I rent a rob a bank. That's what I was thinking. So if you rob a bank, they could trace it. Yeah, number, right? if you rob a bank with a whole bunch of money in, in their case stuff in 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 a. Uh, in a, 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 a in plastic bag or whatever, brand new, haven't been opened up or hey, you can trace it. That's if the mark, money has even marked. The money has to be marked. Has to be marked. So basically, they got nothing. Yeah, people. Did they have some of these little settle for goddamn half? Oh my god! 
Jeez, that means one of two things. Either they got something or they don't. Share it. If they have something, you didn't sell it for half. Mm -hmm. If I owe you almost 50 grand, will you take half of, half of that? Mm -mm. And then tell me to pay $200 a month? On that means you ain't never going to get that. Exactly. What if I die? <laughs> 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 what if I say you had to die tomorrow? Then what? God forbid. Oh, well, technically, they can make a claim against your estate. What estate? <laughs> I got to stay. Oh, I guess your life insurance carry. Mm, yeah. That's if that's if y'all y'all find a if that's if y'all find a quick enough before I, I'm dead and buried. I mean, technically, unless you have some different kind of assets you want people in your family to have, you wouldn't even need an estate because we married. It's all coming in. Exactly. But if it's some things you want somebody like your mom to have or muffin to have, then you have to have a will with an estate to make sure they get it. Estate. Otherwise, I technically wouldn't be under any obligation to give it to them because you don't have an estate. Exactly. And this was before we got married. And now, let's present our before we Way before we got married. But if you want to set up an estate just to have everything in place, or get a will to make sure everybody get what you want them to have, that's fine. I'm going to get it for my estate, yeah. The more these fans got revved up, and that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. But honestly, at this age, I mean, it would have to be a freak, freak accident for you to pass on before your mom. Yeah. That was something totally unexpected. But you still got muffins and all the bobo, and if you want to leave them anything, you can't leave them niggas nothing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and we got a whole nut text thread going again. Uncle Bill's and made us to the hospital. Again? Oh, that you know. See, okay. Uh, yeah, don't know. He's at a cancer place now. Hmm? He's back at the cancer facility. I guess we got to see what's going on. I don't know, Sherry. I don't know. That's what we've been texting all day. I ain't text. I just, I cut the... The, 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 the notification me, bring the ball thing because we're just going back and forth. Well, at least your mama knows she ain't got to ask you. Yeah, and it was Manny, Manny, and you know the children and and what her name? Oh, uh, shit! What's his wife's name? Uh, yeah. Kim. Kim. Does Iman know now? I don't know. Oh, oh. Forty seconds left in the fourth quarter. Oh, Fred gets to join us. COVID, go, what? Get some with Jamal. What? I feel like y'all better get the rest of these people's bodies up out of here because it's about to be a Crazy cremation. <laughs> see these niggas are paying out one build up and all of a sudden you die, they want to come to do what? <laughs> yeah, right. Crazy as hell. 